Hello, today I will be showing you how to set up your Macar Wi-Fi range okay, extender. These are the instructions that come with the extender. This is the steps that we have to take. We're going to turn it on by turning this on the side, the power button, the little switch, the on and off switch on the side. We're going to turn that up to turn it on. I'm going to just turn it on now. And then after we turn that on, we're going to hold this button here for 15 seconds when we plug it in. And then we're going to go to our phone and follow these steps. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. So right now I'm going to plug it in, hold this for 15 seconds, and then we're going to go to our phone and follow the, the next steps. Okay. I have the extender plugged in. The on switch is going up towards up towards the antenna that turns it on. So hold it up. And now we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the lights are solid and now we're ready to go to the phone and do the next step. Okay, the first step we need to do is turn off our Wi-Fi mobile data. So that's the green, the green icon with the antenna. We're gonna turn that off. That's the first step. And then I'm going to close the control center. And now I'm going to look for the network that says Wi-Fi extender, which is right here, Wi-Fi extender. So I'm gonna tap on Wi-Fi extender. Right now it says unsecured network. Okay, once it's connected, we need to open up a web browser. So I'm gonna swipe this up and open up a web browser. And then I'm going to type in here, my my a hyphen, or dash e x t e n d e r dot com. So you're going to type in my extender dot com and then you're going to press go. And now you will be on the Wi Fi thing. So you can do it Wi Fi extender mode. So I'm going to click on Wi Fi extender mode next. And it's going to scan for your available networks. And then you pick your network that you have. So I'm going to pick a network, my network. And right here, then you put in your password. And then we'll go on to next. I'm going to put in my password and then we'll go to next, okay? After you put in your Use your password. You can change it to where it have the EXT on the end of it, so you know that that's your extender when you want to connect to it. And right now, it's configuring the network. You're going to go through the steps of how it configures the, the Wi-Fi extender. So we're going to do this, and then we'll see what happens after that. After it connects, we'll be able to plug this somewhere else, and then we'll go do a test on my garage TV and see how it works when I connect to the extender. So it has this thing after you, it configures your thing. It says to put in your email address. I guess you put it in your name and your email address and then you activate the extender and they'll send you critical firmware updates and stuff like that. So put in your name and your email address and activate your extender. So you should get an email verification and then it'll say set up and then it'll say that it's all good to go. And hopefully your Wi-Fi should be activated. Okay, I have the extender in the same room right now as the my router. And as you can see, this is the extender speed. It's 17 megabits per second. And uh, I'm going to show you what the 
router is under my guest. So under my guest of the router is 26 megabits per second. So overall, I do not care for this extender. It doesn't give you the 5G signal. You only get the 2.4. So that's what you get with this particular extender. So if you decide to get it, good luck to you. I suggest finding something better. Bye.